Hello everyone, my name is Alda Jibuka. Today I will be speaking to you about understanding of intercultural sensitivity. The purpose of this speech is to help you people to understand different level of awareness and cultural readiness. If you look around of you, we all have here from different backgrounds, we have different ways. But the beautiful thing is we have accept each other no matter who we are. Intercultural sensitivity described across cultural sensitivity or simply cultural awareness. The knowledge and acceptance of other culture and other cultural identities. Teaching intercultural sensitivity can feel challenging. Intercultural sensitivity has been widely used and adapted by petitioners working in field as varied as parent and youth engagement, engagement. Deliberative dialogue, racial equity, and organizational diversity. It is important to note that stage of intercultural sensitivity described in the model apply to individuals, group, and organization. Understanding of intercultural sensitivity provide clear descri desc description with different stages that people go through on when learning about diverse cultures. I'm incredible to speak to you guys about the understanding of intercultural because I recently speak with one of my uncle who went to study in Russia in 1992 as mechanical engineering. He went far. He went. He was about. Uh, he was learning about um, culture as an African man, far from his his own culture. Naturally, the concept of of difference in intercultural is what is high subjective. He described to me the standard ways in which he experiences interpreting and interact with the Russian culture. But I will share with you guys three points about how we understand the sensitivity of intercultural. The first point will be being denied in intercultural. The second point will be the importance of being denied in intercultural. And the last point will be the process of adaptas, adaptation in intercultural. First, I will begin by explaining how being denied, denied in intercultural. The first point of being denied in culture will be rejection in different culture. Rejection is like when you want to sit around all the students. At that time, he was having a hard time. Nobody didn't want to sit with him because he was African. He didn't have a good accent. And then he was always sit by himself at the end of, of a class. The second point of being denied in culture will be the naive statement in different different culture. The naive, naive statement is like asking you if are you smart enough or do you sleep in a house in Africa or do you guys have water in Africa. So this is how we explain to me how being denied in intercultural in Russia was was happening to him. I have explained uh, the denial in intercultural now I will cover the importance of being accepted in intercultural acceptance of be among different behavior accepting acceptance of among different behavior can be something that it's uh, very difficult because you always trying to he was my uncle was always trying to feed on that culture but it was not easy because, as I speak previously, he was denied in that culture. Also, the second point will be acceptance of different belief in intercultural. He was not someone who was, he was not Muslim or he was not Christian, but he was someone who was animist, someone who, who believed in spirit. So they was always trying to 
they was afraid of him or saying that yeah, he have a voodoo because he, it's, it's, it's culture. But he was believing in ancestry. He was believing in superpower who is not like we describe as us Christian as God. I cover the rejection in intercultural and the importance of being denied, being accepted in intercultural. Now I'm about to share his process of adaptation in intercultural. This third point will be the process of adaptation in intercultural. The first point of uh, process of adaptation in intercultural will be difficult, difficult, difficulty of personal adaptation in intercultural. He told me about the difficult, his difficulty of adaptation in intercultural was about, first he told me about food. He said the first time when he was there, food was totally different. He could eat food like everybody was eating because all his life he grew up with, basically with African food. So it was difficult for him to eat Russian food at the beginning. So it was very difficult. And then he was always trying to cook some African food, but they didn't have uh, the food he was looking for. So he was more, he was having time where he eat only rice or he eat only pasta. So it was very difficult. The second point of the process of adaptation in intercultural is how to adapt a different culture identity. So as I speak previously, how he was having a hard time to to uh, to accept uh, food from uh, Russia, he try he tried his best to eat Russian food, and then he found some friend that teach him how to act as Russian. So that process really uh, helped him. He adopt that culture. He trying to learn about the culture about how to speak to people, how to greet people, how to view people, because I can take you an example. Us in Africa, when your parents speak to you, you cannot watch your parents in your eyes. That's a form of disrespect. But over there, when someone is talking to you, you got to watch them in their eyes. So this is how he explained to me. I just shared with you Three point being denied in intercultural, the importance of being accepted in intercultural, and the process of adaptation in intercultural. Moving to a country might might be the most important thing or choice to do. Learning and improving your life in different aspects is very important. You develop intercultural sensitivity as you begin begin to experience yourself as a member of more than one cu one culture. Example, as Vietnamese American or even bicultural American and Chinese per person. Called by Stanis Stanilos and Mar Martin. With this code, I want I want you to understand uh, the importance of being a uh, in intercultural and developing our mindset to different culture and by impacting other people's life. Thank you.